everybody. Happy Monday, fun day. Uh, it's Lacey. I'm back. Um, and we're here to read a story today. I bring up some elements and different types of things about a story, and everybody watching gets to chime in and offer suggestions of settings, places, characters, things that happen to our characters in our settings. Turn them into a real-life story. And anybody interested in illustrating a page, um, just make some noise. Uh, and what I will do is I will assign you a line from the story. Yes, it doesn't matter how you make your picture or illustration. If you want to sculpt it, sculpt it. If you want to make it out of recycled stuff, make it out of recycled stuff. If you would like to draw it, draw it. If you'd like to paint it, paint it. If you want to draw it and then paint it, do that. That's fine with me. I hope you had lots of fun last week coming up with the idea, and I hope you had even more fun drawing uh, and illustrating and coloring uh, your masterpiece because I'm so impressed with uh, the really incredible work that everybody submitted. So thank you so much to everybody. Uh, so our first story is called The Magic of Friendship. Tom the Goblin King had never visited a fortune teller before, so he didn't know what to expect. Tom was very surprised when the fortune teller said, I have no fortune for you. The crystal ball only shows this map. The fortune teller quickly drew the map on a scrap piece of paper and handed it to Tom, the very confused Goblin King. After hours of staring at the map in his sea cave, Tom finally knew what the map was for, his old school the Florida College of Witches. Tom spent four years walking those halls, learning spells and pranking his best friends, Bob and Jeff. But what happened to Bob all these years later, Tom wondered. Bob put his keys in his coat pocket, kicked off his work boots and opened the fridge where his trusty three-headed dog, Jeff, sat beside him. Bob had been working as the key keeper at the Florida College for Witches since the year he flunked out. Not much had changed since then. He unlocked the school every morning and locked up at the end of the day. When Bob wasn't at work, he was hanging with his best friend Jeff, the three-headed dog. Each of Jeff's face, faces held a different expression. One was always excited with its tongue hanging out. One was always begging for food with its large puppy dog eyes. And the third was always growling with sharp teeth. Jeff didn't always have three faces, though. The same year Bob failed his college spelling exam, Jeff was turned into a three-headed dog by their prankster friend, Tom. Tom didn't know how to reverse the spell, so they never spoke again. Until today. Bob's phone rang. Hello, Bob? It's your old friend, Tom. Please don't hang up. Bob hung up the phone quickly. If Bob wasn't going to help Tom... Tom was going to take matters into his own magic hands. Bob grabbed his wand and looked up a hypnotism spell in his book. It's time to cast a spell on Jeff, the three-headed dog. Early the next morning, while Bob snored, Jeff the dog reached into Bob's coat pocket. With Bob's keys in one of his mouths, Jeff trotted off down the beach as the sun rose. Tom greeted Jeff at the entrance of the cave, and with a wave of his wand, Tom shrunk the three-headed dog until his, he was big enough to fit into a tiny bottle. Tom put the bottle with Jeff inside in his coat pocket and headed to the Florida College of Witches. Tom's map outlined a way to get to a secret room in the school, and all he needed was Bob's key. Tom quietly tiptoed down the hallway 
until he heard a hissing noise. There in front of him was a cat-sized dragon. The dragon was small and seemed very afraid. Tom remembered this old dragon from when he was in school. All he had to do was convince the dragon he was friendly. The only way to do that was to do a dance and give the dragon marshmallows. Satisfied, the sticky-fingered dragon climbed onto Tom's shoulders and joined the journey to the secret room. When Tom unlocked the secret door, he found a dusty room, an old wand, and a spell written in dust on the floor. Tom picked up the wand and spoke the magic spell. Hoogie boogie doogie, jump up and down, twist around and shout, touch the ground, turn this mutt into a man, transform his paws to feet so he can stand. As soon as Tom waved his wand, the little bottle inside of his pocket began to rise and glow. Jeff, the three-headed dog, floated out of the bottle and began to transform. When all the magic had stopped, Jeff, the three-headed dog, was now just Jeff, the dude from Florida College of Witches. Jeff the Dude and Tom the Goblin high-fived and decided they better find Bob. Meanwhile, Bob had spent the whole morning searching. When he woke up that morning, his keys were missing, and so was his three-headed dog. When he heard a knock on the door, he expected it to be a neighbor or maybe the mailman. Instead, when Bob opened the door, there was his old friend Tom the Goblin King and Jeff the Dude, not the dog, and they had a long story to tell. And Bob invited them in for tea and cookies, and they all had breakfast together. I need some ideas, my friends. What are your ideas? Even if you're like, this is a crazy idea, just say it anyway, because the crazier ideas, the better. Right now, our story is about Unicorn Sparkly Poo Man. So, it's not just any animal poop, it's unicorn poop. Some concerned parents out there, let me reassure you that because last week's story was about magic, and this week's story was about zoo poop, next week's story will not be about zoo poop or magic, and will be about something completely different. Oh, Aubrey, I like that idea. So, the poop man grows every time an animal poops. Is that a thing? Does poop man wear shoes? Does he wear clothes? Is he just a big poop? What if your socks didn't fit? What if your shoes didn't fit? What if you went out in the morning and your shoes fit, and by the end of the day, your shoes are now bigger? <sighs> they need to be bigger. Constipated animals. What is something healthy that would be good for your digestion? Whoa! So, I love that, Dom. That's amazing. Poop Man makes the team, and they win the championship game for the entire zoo. A pinata filled with broccoli and cucumbers and grapes. Apple hoff. <laughs> this story is going to be extra silly, and then maybe next our, next week our story will be completely different. Maybe it'll be serious or scary, or maybe it'll be a different kind of silly. Okay, something fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I have really started to enjoy this. Um, I hope you do too. And That's all for this week. This has been the first episode of Storybook Brainstorm. Please join Lacey every Tuesday from 3 to 4 p.m. on Facebook at LVW Creative Barracks. Be part of the brainstorm session and read a storybook illustrated by children and adults every week. Make sure to like and subscribe to get updates for all of our stories and we'll see you next week.